Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting here having my coffee in the tiny house. It's cold, but it's starting to warm up. It's going to be a sunny day today, so I'm going to capitalize on that and go cut up some wood. I'm going to grab my trusty little wagon, and I think I'm going to start on this part of the property just picking up the smaller stuff. I got my trusty sidekicks with me. Yep, I'm bringing Junior out, and he does pretty well with, uh, you know, sticking around. All I have to do is put some treats in my pocket. He knows which pocket they're in and just call to him and he comes back, usually. I think that's about all of the small stuff I'm gonna get. <laughs> Look at this guy. So I'm gonna take it over near the wood pile, cut up whatever needs to be cut up. Got plenty of kindling wood, so that's pretty cool. Yep, off to the woodshed it goes. Hello, chickens. Hello, Junior. You leave those chickens alone. <laughs> He's been a good boy. Would you look at that? They keep picking away at the styrofoam. I keep picking it up and oh, trying to put it somewhere, but they always seem to find it. See that there? Yup, I'm going to start stacking wood on top of this because that uh, little tent has totally collapsed. What you doing, Sonny? <laughs> this woodshed is getting Getting full again. I've already taken in two buckets, you know, to the shed. Smaller kindling, and I've just been boon stopping some of this. Some of it I had to saw up because it's pretty hard. Um, that's the rest of it that I just collected. I'm going to leave that there for a little bit. And I'm going to go out over there and, and see if I can cut up some of those bigger pieces. Luckily, this stream is dried up, so I can get my wagon across there. I'm excited, you guys. I am excited. Hopefully, I'll be able to... Oh, yeah. They pretty much stick together, but Junior, he, he'll he end up coming back before Papa will. I think I'm going to start here with this tree that's falling. Um, oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get it. I don't care if it's even rotten. Some pieces are going to be rotten, but not all of it's going to be rotten. I'll tell you what I am going to do with that. I am going to bring it up. Um, I'm going to inspect it for termites, but uh, that is rotten wood, and it will go great in the garden beds this year. So I'll save that for last. Look at that, guys. It's basically at the blade's capacity, and I just got like a fraction of an inch more to go. Oh, I hope I can do this. Did it. Awesome. Now it's time for the rest. Okay, I've got that much of it done. I just keep pulling it forward. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a break by loading as much of that up in the wagon as I can, hauling it to the tiny house, and I've got to split each one of those logs in half, um, except for that one, like way over there. Um, I think I can split that one whole, but I don't think I can get any more in that wagon. So, back to the tiny house. That's going to have to be it. I don't think I can get any more in there. I'll come back and get these other three later. What is this? It's a wet dog. Junior found somewhere to go swimming. Probably in my little pond. What are you doing, Junior? Come here, boy. Come here, boy. You're a good boy. You like to stick by Mama, don't you? Yes, you do. Second load. Time to go. Look at that boy. He's been by me all day long. He's a good, good doggy, just like Papa. He's just like Papa. Papa's out. Oh, Papa is right there. Look at that. My two doggies. That's it. That's all I can do today. All of this is just little fragments that I'm going to put in that bucket there, use it for kindling. I can do no more. <laughs> and there's still half the tree out there, and... Uh, all of that stuff over there that I need to cut up. Whew, I'm just exhausted, so I'm just going to take some of this stuff. This is great, great kindling. It's dry. Yeah, that's a little, yeah, it's too spongy. Um, but it ignites very quickly and gets the fire going really fast. So I'm going to take a bunch of this inside. I've already got plenty of other wood inside. Uh, so that I'll have enough to start a nice fire. Oh man, I almost forgot. This needs to be cleaned desperately. I should have cleaned it yesterday. I didn't, so when I lit a fire today, I mean, it was okay, but you could tell there was a little bit more smoke 
coming in than going out. So I kept the window cracked and we were fine, but yeah, we definitely gotta get this clean today. All right, let's see. I already know there's some in there. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. And girl, you gotta get in here and do this more frequently. Yeah, I'm gonna take this whole thing down and brush out the top too. Look at that. Almost completely blocked. There's like just a couple holes that aren't. Yeah, no wonder I smell more smoke than usual. Oh, I can take care of it pretty easily though. It's 2 p.m. so I gotta get my little egg collection thingy and uh, go see if anybody laid me some eggs. I look terrible. I got seven eggs yesterday. I couldn't believe it. Well, that's a disappointment. Only one in here? Oh my gosh. That's a Roxy egg. Ha! Huh, look at that. They've been laying back here. Yeah. In fact, yesterday I found four back here. <laughs> yeah, a cocoa egg and I don't know. Somebody else. What's up, Junior? You collecting eggs with Mama? <laughs> You're such a sweet boy. You follow me around everywhere. As far as the Easter eggers, well, we got one down there. Just one? Yeah. I uh, interrupted them, so I'm going to close this up and just let them do their thing. Ow! What the actual heck? My goodness. All right, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and steal this. Oh, they can lay their eggs. Only four so far. One green egg. Three brown eggs. But the day's still young. I'll bet I'll get at least two more. I don't know what's going on, but these chickens have been laying eggs all winter long. I'm glad Roxy's laying again. And this one here, Roxy, <laughs> Junior really loves this chicken. I hope I can film it someday where he gets right up next to her, her nose, and they just kind of look at each other, and uh, nothing happens. He just kind of hovers around her. Hey, Romeo. I did want to make one correction though. Um, I had said in another video, actually, I called Junior Sonny. He was up on the bed. Um, Sonny went back to the original owners, and Junior is the one that I've kept. And he, it turns out that that was a good decision because things are so much, so much calmer. Thank you, neighbor dudes and dudettes. <laughs> You've restored peace to my homestead. Um, three was just too much. It really was. Yeah, it was too much. Um, so if anybody's looking for some cute doggies, um, let me know because they still have, I think they got six or seven left. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I've kept Junior and he is just, he's just like Papa. I just love him so much. I'm wore out. <laughs> I really am. I haven't even had lunch yet. I still got to go into town today. Um, just to pick up some supplies. Oh, there's Papa and Junior. What's up, boys? Hey, big boy. Hey, little boy. Oh, I just love you so much. You're so sweet. Whoops. Wagon has to go down to the end of the street. You gonna come with? Hmm? You gonna come with? Ah, uh, I think you are. I'm really glad I got that stovepipe cleaned out. Oh my gosh. It was my goal to do it once a week, um, but I kind of was slacking there. I haven't cleaned it in a little over two weeks. Whew. I'm not even going to show you the amount of creosote that was up in there. Oh, gosh, yeah. So never again, yeah. But it all comes out pretty easy, so I'm glad about that. Gosh, more tulums are coming down. Weird. Anyway, I'm tired. Whoops, puppy. I gotta go into town. Um, first, I gotta make some lunch. I don't know what I'm gonna make. And then, uh, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I'm tired, my back hurts. <laughs> so, I might just chill out. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.